Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the first episode of my Concrete Jungle series. So, this is Alpha 20, <coughs> excuse me, and um, I've been thinking about what, did I, what I wanted to do for a series for Alpha 20 and I had a, like a hard time kind of deciding. I wanted to make it challenging, um, ability to show off a lot of the new stuff in the game. Um, but then I also want to make it fun too, right, because if I'm going to play this, this series for probably 70 episodes or so, um, it's gonna have to be fun for me. Uh, I just came off Darkness Falls. That was that was a blast. Um, so I want to make this fun not only for me but for everybody else that's watching. So uh, what I decided to do, if we get through these first quests here, um, is I decided to make a few alterations. Let's just scrap this and drop this. So I made some alterations to the um, World Gen files, and I'll tell you about those in a second. Let's just scrap this. I thought I heard a dog there. Is there a dingo around? We can we can outrun it, so I'm not worried, but let's just go ahead and make our next uh, thing here. Um, so I made some alterations. The first one was that I made the um, uh, cities with the downtown core um, a little larger. I kind of doubled their size. So the cities, like... The main cities will be really, really big. The townships and stuff are still a little smaller. Um, but the main cities will be really big. And I also changed... Um, where that too? I changed the outskirts of them um, to be from rural... Um, I guess rural tiles. So the, the, the new cities have tile systems, basically... You know, there's a downtown tile, there's a residential tile, there's a commercial tile, industrial tile, farm tile, things like that. The big cities, they had um, like agriculture or the agricultural or the farm tiles around the outside. Um, let's craft that. And I didn't want that. I wanted um, it to be more of a concrete jungle, which is what the name of the series is. So I changed that outskirts from um, agricultural to, uh, residential or, um, rural. That's what it is. Residential rural. So it's basically like the township kind of residential. Um, let's craft one of those. Get that bow loaded up. Nice. Make that wood shape. So, yeah, so that should be interesting. So upon entering the town, we're no longer going through farms to get to the center of the town. Um, we're going to be going through, um, you know, like houses and things like that. The, the uh, rural um, townships are actually kind of cool, um, as opposed to just like the regular residential. I mean, it's all cool. Don't get me wrong. Oops, I made two of these. Um, like everything is cool about this alpha. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but uh, I like the... Um, the rural residential areas better. Anyway, so that being said, so that was one of the changes I made. The next change I made, well, we've got a little bit of a distance to go, was that the traders uh, are only in the large towns. So the only way we can find a trader is to go to one of the larger cities. So the goal is to kind of like, um, is to get to one of the bigger cities and kind of play out the the, uh, the series in the bigger city and explore it. So there's a like there's going to be a lot of the city there. Oops, my arms aren't working quite well today. Um, so there's going to be a lot to explore, a lot to do in the big city. So that's pretty much where the series is going to take place. We will be doing traveling when the traders send us to different locations. So we will be doing that as well. Um, but we're going to look to work to working towards. Um, um, staying in the big city. Now you'll also notice that I'm able to just freely pick up cotton. Uh, I did add the mod that allows you to just kind of like pick up crops. Now for this version Alpha 20 it actually allows you to allowed you to pick up grass and twigs and everything else too. Um, and I'm not sure if that was intended or if it just hasn't been updated for Alpha 20. Uh, but I removed that ability. Um, so it's just um, the regular crops that we can pick up and everything else uh, we still need to go ahead and um, 
uh, hit with the uh, your fist or a, for our, our club. But this also means that we're able to pick up the crops in the traders, which I'm not going to allow myself to do. It was just to make it easier out here, uh, not to be able to steal things from the traders. We're only going to be get be able to take from the traders what is actually offered to us. Uh, I want that for armor, so we're going to get that made. Okay, let's keep going. Now, um, so those are two of the changes, and the third major change is that I added a mod that adds newer zombies to the game. I just wanted them to be variations, but I think in doing so, it has altered how the game views um, zombie spawns in some of the buildings because I noticed now that I've been playing with a little bit with that mod because I just want to make sure it was working and I wouldn't have to get rid of it partway through the series. It seems to be working. However, uh, what it is doing is adding things like ferals and radiated zombies into some of the smaller POIs, uh, like the trailer park. I went to the trailer park the other day uh, just as I was testing things out and there was two radiated zombies and I was like, it's day three. I'm like, why is there two radiated zombies? And it wasn't downtown, it was just like, and you're gonna run. It was just in the open, right? So it wasn't like it was like in a downtown core or anything where the zombies could possibly be difficult. Nope, it was just in, a, in the, in the um, rural environment. Come on. We're gonna get a couple lag spikes like this as it kind of loads the cities in. And that's fine. So yeah, it was uh, extremely difficult. Um, early on, which is one of the things I'm looking for. So, as far as settings go, uh, we're playing on Warrior Difficulty, which is my normal setting, and we're, we're also playing on um, Zombies on Jog, and I normally turn airdrops off, but this time I decided to leave them on, just because the airdrops are supposedly are supposed to be pretty good now, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm not really looking to be like, sort of, um, me make sure we don't get killed here. Uh, looking to capitalize on that airdrops being on. Like if we can get to the airdrops, great. If we can't get to them, we can't get to them. That's fine too. Okay, grab a bit of food. I'm gonna grab this trash here real quick. So my goal is gonna be the same as I know my, my other playthroughs as I start off here. Uh, the goal is always to um, be able to get a forge on day one. I think that's easily doable. Um, in my playthroughs, I've had no problem actually getting that done. Um, and then we want to try and get ourselves an iron club and iron arrows, which once we have the forge, is easy to do. Let's just repair this, and we can drop that. Actually, let's just go ahead and use this now. Coming off darkness falls, I forget I can kind of go over my saturation, which is nice. Grab that. So we're going to need pipes, clay, duct tape, um, stone, which I think we've got enough stone already. Should be good to go with stone. Uh, what are we doing here? We got almost enough clay, which should be easy to finish off. We got the pipes. Just need duct tape or murky water, one or the other. We can make some uh, duct tape with glue. So the alpha is amazingly beautiful. Um, the cities are well constructed, and I think our trader is probably in the next town over. This looks like just a regular township. So I'm going to beat a hasty run through. Oh, let's not hastily run through here. Let's just kind of go through so you guys can get an idea of what the alpha is like. If you haven't seen any of Alpha 20 yet, uh, it's pretty amazing what they've done. Um, the cities look great. The roads look, look like everything looks great about it. There's a couple of minor things that I'm uh, that I not necessarily have issue with, but that I think could be use a little bit of tweaking. And I think it's the roads between districts. So what I've noticed, kind of be more so between the downtown dr district and the residential districts, is that the roads that go between them. Come on, you little bastard! Your dinner tonight. There you go. Um, so the roads that go between the districts, um, there's a bit of an issue because they don't necessarily, like the downtown road meets up with the commercial road really well, but it doesn't meet up with the residential roads very well. So you'll end up with like cul-de-sacs near the downtown. 
um, things like that. And I guess it's it kind of kind of makes sense. Are we overweight already? No, we're not. Uh, we can scrap some stuff though. Let's scrap that. I'm holding on to this because we can get more iron if I just hold on to it. Uh, same thing with the cans. We'll scrap them if we need to. Um, so yeah, um, they, they, it doesn't really connect with the downtown. I mean, you can easily get into the downtown without a problem. So that's not so much of an issue. Um, actually, did we pick up any empty jars? We did. Let's put them down here. Uh, you can easily kind of get into the downtown. Um, but I wish the roads had kind of connected to the downtown, if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to make this run to the trader real quick. Um, normally there would be a trader in this town, but like I said, I've got the traders for towns turned off. The only place they spawn is the large cities, so, which I think that is right there. It's huge. Like, I doubled the size of the cities. So the cities are massive, um, and there's generally more of them. I just wanted there to be more just so that, um, we'd have places to go, like bigger places to go later on. Uh, do we need feathers? Yeah, I might as well take them. Normally I break that, but we're not going to be back this way, so I'm not really worried about it. Alright, let me just keep going to the trader. I'm going to pick up some stuff along the way. I'm not going to eat seeds because we're probably not going to be doing any farming until later if we do it at all. Alright, so I'm going to make my way to the trader and I'll see you when I get there. Alright, we're not quite at the trader, but we are on our way into town. So we've got to kind of start looking for a place to live. Now, normally when you play, you would let the trader give you a mission. Go pull the mission off, clear the POI that you're sent to, and that's where you live. Uh, but I don't know if I want to do that in this series. I want to kind of like uh, spice things up a little bit. I want to build a nice house, I think, in this one. Um, yeah, there's a biker. We don't want to mess with him. But yeah, you can see here, like once we get into town, actually, let's, let's just kind of record this, I guess, as we're going through here. But they got alleyways and everything now. This is why I wanted the rural rather than the residential town because the rural has got these nice little alleyways and stuff. Residential is nice too, but it's not as nice as the rural looking, you know? And um, that's why I kind of went this route. Um, yeah, we're already getting overloaded, but let's start taking stuff. I don't know who our trader is. Oh, it's you. Whoa. Anyway, yeah, with warrior difficulty, it's, I think, nice and hard enough. Yeah, we're taking hits already. It's a good thing they're on jog, because I can get away from most of them. Like, a few of the zombies are a little faster. You really notice how the, the, the increased speed when you uh, play on run. When you're on run, um, the, okay. Uh, yeah, there's still a few glitches in the game. It's still alpha. I've noticed, like, that's happened to me a few times where I've kind of fallen to the ground. It doesn't happen very often. It's just a bad chunk load, I think. You know, one or two of the, uh, blocks in the chunk just don't spawn in properly. Alright, let's take a look through the trader first. Uh, and see what he's got. Now, they changed the trader slightly. It looks a little better. I don't think this is his as good as the uh, update on Trader Wrecked. It's nice on the inside. I mean, I like how I kind of tra like did the update on this Trader, but eh, whatever. I'll probably redo those. I had a lot of fun messing around with the uh, the building gen system, so I might actually go ahead and do that again and just play around and maybe rework the Trader slightly. Um, but they changed these. Ooh, that's really nice. Ooh, we might be able to make a pipe weapon right away here. How much glue do we have, too? We do. I'm gonna uh, let's just hold off. We'll wait for a second. Let's see what, uh, what other ammo and stuff we can find in here And then once we have a good stock, I mean we're probably gonna make a pipe machine gun I don't like making any kind of pipe weapon until we know what kind of ammo we have um, And like the shotgun is like last weapon of last resort so oh Yeah, the one th other thing we're gonna need for the forge. Ooh, that's really nice is we're gonna need um, Leather so we're going to have to get 10 leather today. So that's we're going to make that our primary goal once we leave here. Ooh, some frames. That's that's okay. I'll take that. I'm always happy to see, like, frames now. <laughs> just so I don't have to make them. But they changed the way frames work. I mean, there's so many more shapes now. Which is kind of cool. I'm not going to go through it all, but you'll see it when we start building stuff if you haven't seen it yet. Tons, tons of new shapes. 
um, some wood. So we can make just about anything in the game. And um, what else? What else is there? Oh yeah, there, there's like full, full on like wood blocks and stuff now. Ooh, ammo pile. I didn't know that was here. I just caught that out of the corner of my eye. Nine, some uh, nine mil. Um, so there's all kinds of cool um, stuff uh, to make um, block wise. But then you could just make straight up cobblestone blocks and put those down like you would a regular frame, uh, so you don't have to upgrade it. The same thing goes with uh, wood frames and concrete frames. Um, so rather than putting rebar down and upgrading the rebar, um, you just actually throw the concrete block down. Now, it just means that you have to be sure that's where you want it uh, before you throw it down. Oi! Yeah, I'm getting up on the counter. I'm unruly. Uh, let's wear this. We'll take this and we can scrap this. I'm not going to need much, uh, much in the way of uh, plant fibers, but we'll keep it honest so we can just drop it off at the house when we get there. Uh, I'll take the paper, I guess, for shotgun rounds if we need it later on. We got two things. Where's Hugh? Why is there no Hugh? I'm probably going to have to read. <laughs> this is the first time I've encountered this. Like, why? I. There's no Hugh. All right, let me reload. <laughs> Let me reload this and see what the hell's going on. And we're back. So, I have no idea why there was no hue. Like, I I don't think it's because of the stuff that I've added to the city because none of that touches the traders in any way. Like, it's not like I've like altered the traders. And the traders' spawn location is not contingent on what districts are on the outside of the POI. Like, it's not contingent on anything. Like they, they spawn like here no matter what, right? So... Okay, so we're here. So let's hope he's in here. Yeah, there he is. So yeah, I have well, no I've idea what the hell that was all about. As you're not a thief. Thief? Thief of your heart, maybe. Uh, can I see your inventory, baby? Let's have a look here. Alright, take that. Uh, let's sell this. I'm gonna sell all these. Now, I picked up plastic on the way, like anything that's made of plastic, because plastic sells really well early game. That's 172 right there, just for spending a little time grabbing some plastic. I'm gonna sell all that. Um, as much as I hate to do it, I'm just going to go ahead and sell this. I don't think we need it right away, but I want the money earlier on. Uh, I'm not really worried about it. I know you should, I know I should be using it, but it's like, eh, I don't need it right now. Um, tips, we want to sell us for 10 tips. It's not really worth selling those. Um, I think that's pretty good. We can sell the electrical part because we can get more later. Uh, so what do we got? 513. That's not too bad. Now, do you have a lot of stuff here? Uh, anything that we want first and foremost because the pistol would be nice to work towards art of mining 10% more ore when buzzed off coffee it's not like an imperative um, a little bit of corn gunpowder um, we got some pipe bombs ooh tack right okay so this is like the luckiest I've gotten I guess Hugh is supposed to be the guns and ammo guy which is why these show up but Level 3 Tactical Assault Rifle. So it does 47.6 damage. This does 46. So I guess this is better than the AK now? I guess so. So, I mean, yeah, he's got Those some... Damn things I didn't are check the rest cake. of the stuff. What else do you got? Uh, that was your guns. Armor. Eh, nothing I really want. We can't buy anything anyway. I'm just checking to see what he's got here. So I could buy the cobblestone. We can make a base early on. It's only 210. We got to decide where we're going to live. Are we going to build one or... I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I want to take this right now. Now we got we got time to come come back and get Daylight stuff. So burning. it is and we got shit to do. Um, do you have any jobs? We got fetches here. What's the closest fetch to the west? 
I've got a job for you. Birdhouse. Okay. We you got it. It's a little far, but we have to back. drop some stuff no. off here. So now we want to worry about. Let's go ahead and do recipes. Duct tape three. Three. Um. So we need. Actually, did he have leather? Uh, can I see your inventory? I don't think he did. No, you don't have any leather. All right. So we need to go find leather right now. Quit so. Quit wasting my time. Oh, fight me. All right. We got other stuff in here to search first, though. So let's have a quick look around. Um, really shouldn't be taking the rotten flesh. Uh, let's leave that here. Take that, though. Got anything to drink? Ooh, we've got a coffee. We'll take that. All right. Empty glass jar. Man, you're keeping body parts th throughout the entire house here, buddy. That's just not cool. Not cool. I can't take that, unfortunately. It would be nice if we could. Do the traitor protection. I'm coming off of playing Darkness Falls, which, like, ooh, that's really nice, too. Which pretty much anything goes in Darkness Falls. Um, I don't know what I want to use that sledge. Schematic. I don't think I want to use the schematic, because here's the thing. Is then I need to need to make it, and you need, I believe, is it forged iron or steel? I think it might just be forged iron. So maybe we can make it. Don't want that. Um, let's just see here. Um, robotic sledge requires robotic parts. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we get those, and we'll probably spec into, um... Yeah, we'll just wait till we pick one up. We're just going to sell that. All right, what do we got over here? Some books. A bit of paper. A little bit of writing paper. Got a jacket in here for me. Ooh, we got something I can wear, though. Take that. A little bit of lag, but we're okay with that. Take those. Ooh, we'll take that. Um, and anything else here? I think that's it for Hugh as far as stuff we can search. So let's go down here, sell him a few more things, and then go find a place to stay. And no, we can't get into his gun rack. I tried. Maybe there's a way. I just haven't seen it yet. Uh, it would be nice to be able to break in there. But unfortunately, when we play Darkness Falls, we'll break in there. Uh, okay, so we'll take that and that. We'll sell those. And I think that's about it. Right? So we got a thousand now. So not bad. Was there something else? Uh, not at the moment. I'm going to put some stuff. Uh, where do we want to store it for now? I know. Put it right in here. So we're going to save... What are we going to leave here? The stuff that we're not going to need right away. No, I could have sold that. Let's just throw it in there for now, though. I'm not going to need the shovel. And put those in there for now. Blueberries we don't need for now. This we don't need. Those we don't need. Um, cooking grill. Let's just scrap that for now. Um, what else do we not need? We can get more of those later. We're running like... I mean, I guess... Well, you know what? We'll just leave uh, the, the definite not needs. We'll come, we're going to be coming back here anyway. So... Um, uh, it's getting... It's, we're going to be picking most of this stuff up as we go, too, so leave that. Um, sure. All right, let's make a pipe SMG. So before we do that, let's just add our do our skill points here. We're going to go advanced engineering. Normally I wait till the end of the day, but we're going to do it now. I want to do Pummel Pete. I want to do Master Chef. And normally we do Sexual Tyrannosaurus, um, but I think I want to go... You know what? Let's just do it. I'm not worried about the level of the pipe rifle when, or pipe SMG when we start. Let's craft one of these guys. And then um, we can put this on it. And we'll have a, oh shit, we're going to die weapon. Just in case. Uh, modify you. Drop this on. And let's load up. Hey, don't come in here unzipped. Ah, uh, why not? All right, now we can scrap you, and let's make a, me uh, a bleh, level two bone or wooden club. Get that going, and get this job done. Now west is this way, and we got the speed, so I'm not really worried about these freaking zombies. Can't grab those. Chicken. <laughs> I know that's a Glock saying, but we're going to grab it anyway. 
the advantage of playing so like for so long is I know the POIs fairly well. Okay, it's this one. Yeah, this one actually goes pretty quick. So let's just go do this. So this is a find the supplies. We should be able to find them real easy, but I want to try, like I said, gather my leather here if I can. I know there's a few of these leather couches in here. I think there's a computer chair somewhere too. Ooh, ammo pile. Take that. Shotgun rounds. What else we got in here? Grab this. Take this for the plastic. Now by itself, like, handfuls of plastic don't sell for too much. But like I said, like we gathered a bunch on the way here. It sells for a fair bit. Ooh, we can make a pocket mod now. Look at this guy. Don't lose your head over things. Bah ha ha. Alright. Um, definitely want the coffee. It's going to be dark for the first little bit. I've decided not to give myself a helmet light mod. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Like in later stages of the game. If things are really, really dark and people complain, I might... Like if I haven't found one, I'll give myself one. But for now, I'm not that worried about it. Like, for the most part, like, I mean, yeah, some of the buildings are a little bit dark, but if you're hugging the walls and stuff, it's pretty good. All right, let's um, repair you before we go too much farther. Grab some free wood. It's always good. And I'll try and lighten it up, too, as I'm in editing. All right, go ahead and use that. Bring that down. Oops, some shoes, since we're barefoot still. Oop, we'll wear those right away. Grab that. Okay, uh, we can scrap you, scrap you, and try to stay a little lighter. Okay, let's grab what's left in the kitchen here. I really want to get a wrench early on. We can take that because it sells for a little bit. We might ditch it though if we're running a little heavy. Scrap those. I really want a wrench early on, but if we don't get one, I'm okay with it. I mean, oh, I have to be, like, it's not, like, it's not like I have a choice. Who am I going to complain to? I didn't get a wrench. Okay, there's a bathroom here. Anybody home? Yep. God damn it. These door frames, sometimes you can get the headshot, sometimes you can't. It's so random. Ah, first aid, come on. Oh, first aid kits, nice. I mean, I'm usually never that hurt, but it doesn't hurt to have those. All right, um, wanna grab as much cloth as we can here early too. Oh, we got another guy in the ground here. Let's put him out. Now I think that should be it for the lower floors. There's our satchel. Can make a bit of coin off this. I mean, we really could, I mean, realistically, I could push really hard to um, make the money to get the uh, ooh, pile of clothes. To get the um, uh, let's just repair that. I don't want to take the mobility penalty. We could work really hard to get the AK and like burn through these quests and like make a shit ton of money and pick up an AK early, but I'm not really that worried about it. Ooh, Santa hat. Am I that jolly? No, not really. Okay, we're gonna scrap you. Now there should be one or two guys up here. Gonna go for the main loot here. I don't know if we're gonna stay here tonight, but I think this floor gives out too. Oh, hello. Not gonna give me my arrow back, huh? Nobody there. Well, damn it. I even said the floor gave out. Oh. Okay. Now this guy might hear us. Be very, very quiet. Not quiet enough, and apparently. Oh. Get down. Die. 
Damn, I can't believe I missed that shot. I thought I was pointing right at his head. I should have been ready for it, but whatever. All right, extra first aid. We'll go ahead and repair you because we can just repair that with like cloth now, which is kind of nice. Put that on right away. What kind of ammo, probably crossbow bolts. Nope. See, if I hadn't have said it, it would have been crossbow bolts. There's, I don't know how many times I get crossbow bolts out of those little piles. All right, let's grab this. And we're just going to go ahead and scrap these. All right, now, what do we got here? Anything good? Yeah, a little bit of nothing. Do that. Let's break our way through here. I think we can just drop down. There's like a small room on the other side. I mean, we could technically stay here tonight, but I think there's probably... Yeah, little purse down here. Enough time to get to some other place, and maybe not now. Use that. Use that. Grab all that. Now, I think for this playthrough, I want to try and do... Like, I know I've said this in the past, but try and do the, uh, the money playthrough where it's like we save up X amount of dollars, um, and the X amount of dollars buys us the way off of the... Uh, uh, out of the uh, the zombie zone. So the reason why there's airdrops is because, you know, this area is like a limited area. There's only zombies here, but nowhere else in the world. Uh, and they haven't been able to eradicate them. So they just kind of walled it off. But there's still a few survivors here. They're not letting anybody out. But if you want to get out, you can always buy your way out. There's always people that are willing to get you out of the zone. So um, the goal then is to, to make up enough paper money um, to be able to buy your way out. And I don't know really what that would be because, I mean, you don't often find a lot of paper money. I mean, there's sometimes you can find it in cash registers. Uh, sometimes the zombies will drop it. Um, and you'll find it in purses and bags and things like that. But it's not as common um, as I would like it to be. I'm just going to drink these. Help with stamina regen a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure how much money we would need to buy our way out, but we'll go and we'll just save it as we go along Just to see how much we can actually save up over time uh, I don't think we got enough leather did we? We got seven All right, let's just drop this quest off at Hughes real quick Who knows maybe he'll like offer us an office chair for his quest reward and we can just scrap it uh, what's up, buddy? Keep your you must you keep your disc. Oh, look at that. Helmet like mod. I want the pipe bombs, but I'm taking that instead. So Will ya? Good stuff. Uh, let's just sell him some stuff. I guess we gotta keep this to put the helmet light in. Uh, fine. We'll keep it. Uh, we can sell that. Um, okay, I think that's all we can do for now. Time to move on. Actually, let's take another job real quick, um, so we can do that tomorrow. Uh, closest best. Funeral home. Beautiful. Alright, what do we got in here now? What do we need? We need anything that's made of iron that we can melt down. We're gonna melt that. Um, now, anything that we don't need right away. We don't need the med kits or the paper. We're gonna keep that. Come on, I gotta decide. We gotta make, we gotta get a house here. Uh, we might need those. We don't need that. Um. God. Should have got off the pot. Good enough. Let's get the hell out of here. We're going to go over to the house right, ne right next to us here. We're just going to make our way real quick through this place right here. This is where we're going to live for now. I mean, we could go up to that tower and just sit up there, but... I think that's a little more dangerous than being in a house. Uh, can't get in the front door. Can we get in the back door? There's got to be a way in here. Oh, it's this house. Okay, um, that's bad because there's a dog down there. We don't want that house. Uh, what about this one? Don't need the paper. I don't know why I'm searching shit at the moment. Okay, this place... I think we can get up on the roof. I need leather though, man. We gotta get leather. Really need... I guess I can scrap my duster. I don't see any leather in here. Um, let's go around back. There's 
So we can get in that way. Ah, if we don't get a forge on day one, I guess it's okay, but I was really hoping we would. All we need is an office chair. And if we scrap the duster, I don't know how much that's going to give us. Okay, this floor... Damn, this is a uh, bad place to be. We got an hour. Um, do we go back to that other place? Gotta decide. Gotta decide now. I left it to the last minute. That's my fault. Oh, I know what we're doing. We're going in here. So this building here, this is the one I highlighted. If you haven't seen it, is Alpha 20 easier? Um, if you've seen that, that's the building that I like to start off in, or one of the buildings I like to start off in. Uh, it's it's actually a really relatively easy clear, as long as there's no dog out front. If there's a dog, well, it could be a little tougher. All right. And there's a dog. Okay. Um. Oh, we got him. I did not expect to get the headshot in that, but we did. All right. Now we just got to worry about what's inside here. Last time I was here, there was a was a radiated zombie in here. And there's a rad. Oh man. We kind of have the ammo for it, but then they're going to kind of be on us. Alright, we're going to be going up here. Going to be going up here tonight. I think this is clear. No leather, though. God damn it. There's leather in there, too. Mad dog, snack pig. I can't remember if there's anything in there. How much time do we have? Oh, yeah, 40 minutes. we got plenty of time. Right? Right? Am I right? Ah. Uh. Oh, we need to do this too. What's this? A garage? What have we got in the garage? Besides a bit of lag. Oh, and a zombie, apparently. But where? Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Look at you. Physics are great in this game. Alright, I guess we're staying in here tonight. Oh, man, I don't think we're going to get enough leather by scrapping the... Uh, Yeah, we're not going to get enough leather, I don't think, by scrapping the, um, duster. Let's take a look, really quick look here. I want to keep the black die, though. Okay, so if I scrap you... Oh, it's 15! Oh, okay, beautiful. There we go, problem solved. I don't need it right now. Nice. What else do we got in here? Cornmeal! Grab that. Break that up. We don't have a shovel, so it's fine. All right, now let's get up here. What's the best way up? Can we get up this way? Oh, we can. Which means zombies would be able to get up there too, but... Got two boxes up here. All right, there's the night charm. Charm? It's a night charm. Uh, modify you. Put that on. Oh, wait, wait. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Modify... The black dye. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and wear that. That's what I think about Santa. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a big Christmas person. Can you tell? Uh, we'll grab those. And then I think we can just... Can we reach this from here? Come on. Gonna make me do that jump, aren't you? Gonna make me do the jump. Alright, what do we got in here? So that worked out. I'm actually kind of shocked that it did, but watch, I don't think I got enough clay. Nope, I got enough clay. Alright, so, uh, we can go ahead and make a forge now. Get that started, crafted. 
Uh, this is 200 iron, 260. This is, I think, 100 and some odd. So that's close to 400, which is enough to make arrows. We can make a cooking pot out of that. We'll have clay left over. Uh, plus we got the 15 cans, that's 75 iron right there. Plus 109, we got tons of iron. So I am gonna spend the time tonight putting down the forge, getting everything melted into it. We're gonna make ourselves a um, iron arrows. We're gonna make ourselves a uh, baseball bat. And then when we come back tomorrow, uh, we'll have those ready to go. And we'll pick it up there. We'll figure out where we're gonna live at that point. This is not going to be permanent, it's only going to be temporary, obviously. Uh, and then maybe we do clear that house by the trader. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I might want to build my own. Um, but once again, I'm not 100% sure yet. Let's throw that in there, I'll throw that in there, and then turn that on. All right, going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.